What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your iDevice look like iOS 7. Now there's going to be a few things that you're going to need to download as well as add a repo and I'll put the repo in the description below as well as everything that you need to download. But just to start off, let's go ahead and go over the different things you need to get from Cydia. First is going to be the iOS 7 theme. Now you want to download the one that is created by Philip Wong, which is PW5A29 is his username. The next thing you need to download is Wallpaper JPEGifier. And that is what's going to allow you to not get a black screen on your lock screen. Because sometimes in your lock screen it will just be a black background rather than showing your actual background so wallpaper jpegifier is actually going to fix that after you install it just go ahead and set your wallpaper one more time and that should fix the issue next you'll need to get ios 7 animated lock screen and once you've downloaded that go ahead and download deep in by ryan petrich and be sure to check the description below for that repo now the deep in is actually going to give you that parallax effect give you that 3d feeling when you're moving your phone around you can actually see behind the icons and stuff like that and last but not least if you want that panoramic wallpaper go ahead and download live wallpaper this is going to let you set panoramic images for your wallpaper so when you're swiping from left to right it does actually pan the image so let's go ahead and start looking at everything that all these tweaks do so as you can see right here on my phone it looks quite a bit like iOS 7. I mean it even has some in-app features as well. If we go ahead and tap on the messages app you'll see that it gives you this iOS 7 look as well. So let's go back to the springboard. Let's open up the notes. This is also themed as well as the phone application so you can see that as well. And the weather app. So everything, I mean even in-app applications, I mean this is probably the most thorough iOS 7 theme that I've seen. So if we swipe over, you can see that the folders here are actually themed as well. And even going into the notification center here, you can see that this is themed too. And it even has this little arrow right here like on iOS 7. So let's go to the lock screen just to show you the lock screen. And you can see that it has this little grabber right here just like iOS 7 as well as the entire theme here. So if we slide to unlock... And now I'm going to go ahead and show you the panoramic view. My background right now, you can't really tell just with this background. So let's go ahead and change that up. So let's go into our settings, our wallpaper, and our camera roll. We're going to add this one. This is actually the default uh, wallpaper for live papers. So we're going to go ahead and set both. So now you can see the background actually pans when I swipe over just like that and that's due to live papers. And if I move my device you can actually see it moving in the background so it gives you that 3D effect and that's due to the deep end tweak created by Ryan Petrich. Again you will have to add a repo for that tweak. So this is definitely the most thorough iOS 7 theme I have seen. They even have themes for OXO and IRA if you have those tweaks on your device as well. So definitely give this a shot if you're looking for an iOS 7 feel before the actual iOS 7 comes out or you just don't want to lose your jailbreak updating to the beta. This should keep you satisfied until iOS 7 comes out. So let me know what you guys think about this theme in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.